you're ever wondering how to delve items from your inventory into your group, on your chat window, right click, go to default channel, go to group, pick your item up and just drop it into your chat. That's how you delve items. You can also delve them into your guild by going into default channel, guild, and then you should be able to just delve right into your guild as well. So that's how you delve items. The only way you can do it is if you set your default channel. A lot of people probably couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. Let's go over a few things about crafting here. What I recommend is that you have the following macros. Slash, craft, space, set, space, whatever number you'd like. I like to use 32 because 32 will cover the first four bags, leaving the final fifth bag available for all your materials that you'll use for crafting. Um, pretty useful. Works out pretty well. It's pretty quick to do it that way. And, uh, you know, do it how you want, but 32 just works for me. The buy macro. Slash craft space buy two. T.O. Base 32. So that means it will buy up to materials to make 32 of whatever recipe you'd like to make. How does the buy two work? So if I have this copper short sword and I want to make 32 of these, you see that I'm in my first bag here, nothing in it. If I click on the recipe first for the short sword, click and then say buy 32 with the merchant selected. I'm targeting the merchant in the bottom, top right. I buy 32, click. It's gonna buy all the materials for 32 um, short swords. And then, since we have the craft set 32, we click craft set 32, and then we click the recipe for the short sword, and it is now currently making 32 of them. Pretty simple, works with any um, trade skill. So if you ever want to progress quickly in your trade skills, this is the way you would do it. You would make your craft set 32. You would buy up to the materials, however many you want to make, in this case 32. And then you would press the recipe uh, to make those 32. Also, side note, Take your items and put them, the materials, and put them in the bag that you're currently not using. That way, it doesn't overflow into your other bag spaces. So currently, it looks like you do not need to have your trade skills. It looks like you don't have to worry about your primary trade skills at all when you're leveling up your salvaging. So, you want to do it for the cheapest way possible. So, your legendary grandmaster salvaging would look like this. This is going to be your primary skills. This is what determines what you can actually craft in the game. Your secondary skills are going to be what you can actually, what determines your salvaging in the game. So, this will determine what you can salvage up to. You level all of these to these values. You should be able to end up with a thousand to eleven 1, hundred in crafting, or uh, I'm sorry, a thousand to eleven 1, hundred in secondary skills, and that should allow you to salvage everything in the game all the way up to level 51. So, a thousand is level 50, 1100 is 51, and uh, yeah, it takes you about three and a half, four hours, and around three and a half, uh, 350 to 400 gold. You can find this document that I have on my Google Drive. The exclamation point haste best in the Atlas Discord. Craft button doesn't work. So if you have an issue where you can't enchant your items with spellcrafting, come talk to the spellcrafting master. This is a bug. I'm not sure if the dev teams can fix it or not. 
After talking to the spellcrafting trainer, make sure you still cannot enchant your item. Move it from one slot to another. You only have to do this once. You only have to talk to the master one time. And then after you talk to the master, the item that you're trying to enchant, make sure you move it to a different inventory slot. And then everything that you make after that, you should be able to craft on. So now I'm going to add this raw fiery essence here. Combine is automatically selected. You can see the, the uh, penalty charge down there. So. And I died. Watch out for your overcharge chance. Also, confirm you will die if you explode. If you fail your overcharge success. If you're ever wondering where you can get pets in the game, you can talk to Cruella DeVille. Cruella DeVille will be somewhere in your capital city next to your orb merchants. Um, if you completed the beetle quest in the leading up to launch, then you can get the beetle here. But if you did not, you can get delayed death for free. You just pick up delayed death and put your item in your inventory. You can put that item on your bar and you can click the little button and it will summon you a little zombie pet and he will follow you around pretty neat they'll probably do more uh, vanity pets like this most MMOs do have your own little zombie pet streaming doesn't work out for me at least I'll always have one follower right? anyway little tidbit there if you're looking for quests on Atlas, you can find them in the frontier keeps of your respective realm. And they'll always be in the main frontier keep. So in Hibernia, it's going to be Grim Legion. For Albion, it will be Castle Savage. And for Midgard, I think it will be Susswood. If you guys are curious about where you can teleport to in Atlas, you can always, this is going to be the same for every realm, but you'll always be able to teleport to your two frontier keeps at the top. You'll have your SI main capital city, and then you'll have shrouded isles. If you click shrouded isles, it will open up several of the towns in SI that you can teleport to. This is not every town. Some of the towns you'll have to horse to, and some of the zones don't even have towns. And then you'll have the entrance to the housing area, and then you'll have your house that you can directly teleport to, as well as your capital city. PNN, Camelot, Jordheim. Uh, the towns button is probably where you'll click the most. Most people prefer classic over SI. If you click Towns, it will also give you a list of the towns in your classic realm. This is not every town. It'll get you around the realm pretty quick. And then last but not least, you can teleport to your epic dungeon. Of course, getting out of your epic dungeon. Oh, another can of worms. Also, don't teleport while you're zoomed in. If you teleport while you zoom in, it'll mess up your, uh, your UI. Hope this video was useful. Hope you learned something. I certainly learned something. And uh, yeah, I figured I would share all these useful little tidbits with you. Hit that like hit that subscribe and if you did learn something post it in the comments i appreciate you i'm hayes fest see you later